Fire escapes are supposed to be a safe way out in emergencies, but some experts say some fire escapes are themselves a danger that puts people at risk. CBS 2's Marsha Kramer demanding answers tonight. You see the train already dislodged by itself? How much rust is inside that? I wouldn't go on this fire escape. It was an eye-popping afternoon with nationally recognized fire escape expert Cisco Manessis. Come over here and look straight up. There's a hole. As we walked the streets in downtown Manhattan, it was also too easy to spot dangerous conditions. Should involved. this fire escape have violations? Yes. It has been kept painted, but it's not structurally sound. Heavy rust was clearly visible, and something else we saw over and over again, air conditioners. That's an obstruction for the firemen to get in, as well as the people to get out. Any obstruction, from flower pots to art installations, can impede a safe escape in an emergency. But even more frightening, the structural integrity of fire escapes designed to save lives lives in some cases has proven deadly. Earlier this year in Soho, a tread fell from this fire escape and killed one pedestrian and injured another. And in May of 2011, an entire platform gave way from this midtown building. You can see here the evidence of corrosion. That's what caused the, the platform to fail. Attorney Herb Cabrera says the victim fell 12 feet and needed multiple surgeries. The building eventually settled the lawsuit for millions. You got to live with pain for the rest of your life. According to the Department of Buildings, there are about 200,000 fire escapes in the city, and they are all required to be maintained by building owners. In building six stories and above, fire escapes and building facades are inspected by the DOB every five years. We have a limited number of inspectors in the city. We do the best that we can. And they were clearly concerned when we showed them some of what we found. This is a clamp. How do you feel about that? It's holding the fire escape together. That's an unacceptable condition. So what about situations where you have clearly rusted out parts? We will write violations for failure to maintain when we run into those conditions. This year, there were more than 5,311 complaints to the DOB, as well as the Department of Housing Preservation and Development and the Fire Department, who also does regular inspections to make sure firefighters are safe. If you feel a fire escape is, is dangerous uh, or unsafe, we don't expect our members to, to go on. The fire department says they will put up ladders or find another way in. Firefighters have been uh, seriously injured on fire escapes previously. There's a dear price to pay when an owner does not carefully maintain the fire escape. The fire escapes on some of the buildings can be 75 to 100 years old. Our expert told us that some of the bolts holding them up have never been replaced. If you see a dangerous situation, call 311. I'm Marcia Kramer, CBS 2 News.